Hi all and welcome to my channel. I'm glad you are here and in case you are wondering what my channel is about, well it is about mixed media, painting, art journaling, assemblage, collage and anything else that piques my interest. And by the way, I'm Bea. So here I started an art journal page in the Strathmore Visual Journal. This time we're going to play with some pearlescent ground from Daniel Smith, with watercolors from Jane Davenport, some stencils, gelatos and some stamping. For the moment I leave you with some music, but I will step in to explain certain steps. Now enjoy my process. For the watercolors I started spraying some plain water and then I add colors. I want to have some droopings. Next I wanted to try out a technique which I have seen in a video from Kristi Sobolevsky. I hope I pronounce her name correct, but I will have the link to her channel in the description down below the video. She did use stencils with watercolor, which never came to my mind, but I think it's a cool technique.
After drying the page completely, I did sketch a flower shape with a graphite pencil. I know you can barely see it, but it is there, just trust me. Next I go over with the fine line applicator which I have filled with the golden fluid acrylic paint. With the stencil, a black gelato and a damp baby wipe, I add some numbers to the bottom. I smear the gelato rather onto the stencil and then smush it onto the page with the baby wipe. For the flowers I use again gelatos and some distress crayons but together with a water tank brush.
And now to the stamping. I did use the white layer of a napkin to stamp my face on. I also recommend to have something squishy like this fun foam underneath. It is much easier to get a clean stamp. As you can see from my first stamping, you need a real juicy stamp pad. So I had to refresh mine with the Re Inker. My next step is to add my image, but I first have teared out the shape. I tend to rather tear the edges as they blend in better than the cut ones. And in case you are wondering why I don't stamp directly. Well, depending on the background I have, I find it more difficult to get the right impression and exactly where I want it. I can move the napkin bits around to find the perfect spot. And as often, I'm gonna use Liquitex Matte Liquid Medium to glue them down. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would love to see you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. 
And if you want even more like real-time videos, not all will be on YouTube, why not consider joining me over at Patreon? For just $1 a month, I will have real-time videos. So check it out, I will have the link in the iCard in the upper right corner.